what is an exchanger in Java? To understand an exchanger, we need to first understand what is a synchronous queue. Now, if you have not seen my previous video on synchronous queue, and if you do not know what it is, I would highly suggest that you watch that first. I'll add that link in the description below. If you already know what it is, then let's just recap it. Syn synchronous queue is nothing but a blocking queue of size one. So it has space for a single element, and there is a producer thread which can put that single element and a consumer thread which can get that particular element. To be even more specific, since the producer thread requires the consumer thread to be available at that particular point in time and vice versa, it means that producer thread can directly give that item to the consumer thread without even storing it in a synchronous queue. And that is why synchronous queue is in fact not even a queue of size one. It does not have a size because there is a direct handoff between a producer thread and a consumer thread and an exchanger is the same as synchronous queue but in this case like there is an item going from producer thread to consumer thread and vice versa there is also another item going from consumer thread to producer thread right so the handoff in this case happens in both directions so now we can no longer call those threads producer and consumer thread because they are not just producing or consuming they are doing both the operations right and since you're also giving and getting something in return it's called an exchange and that is why the data structure is called exchanger so as shown in this diagram the thread one will call the exchange operation and with and whenever thread two is also calling the exchange operation at that point in time they'll exchange an item it could be any item and similar to synchronous queue and a blocking queue if there is a thread 2 which wants to exchange the item b with something else and it calls an exchange and if there is no thread 1 which is ready for that exchange then this thread will be blocked as soon as you have a thread 1 available to make that exchange and let's say thread 1 has an item a to exchange with then the thread 2 will become unblocked and they will exchange their items so now the item a has moved from thread 1 to thread 2 while the item b has moved from thread 2 to thread 1 I apologize for the naming on the right side it has to be thread 2 it works vice versa for the blocking so if there is a thread 1 which is trying to do perform the exchange and there is no one available for that exchange it again does block and whenever there is a thread to available at that particular point in time they'll make the exchange and they'll proceed with their subsequent operations right and the perfect use case for this is buffers so there can still be a producer and a consumer but a producer will always have a full buffer to read from and a consumer having read the buffer will return back an empty buffer to the producer so let's see this in terms of a diagram to be more clear so there on the left hand side we have a producer thread which has a full buffer so it has some data which is ready to be read and we have a consumer thread on the right hand side which has an empty buffer because it's already read everything from the buffer and now that data structure it can be an array or something else that buffer is empty and at that point in time they can say exchange these buffers so now after this operation the consumer thread will have a full buffer and a producer thread will have an empty buffer and now both can perform their own operations so in this case subsequently once the producer gets an empty buffer it can start filling it up and the consumer thread since it has a full buffer it will start reading from it and performing some operations so that's it in a nutshell exchanger is just about exchanging some data between two threads thanks a lot for watching if you have any comments let me know below and uh, see you in the next one. Thank you.